Yes, when the koala baby's born, it's probably only two centimetres, if that, and it's all pink. It just has black dots where the eyes are going to be. Um, and it has like tiny little forearms and hind legs, but really it still looks like a fetus. It then climbs up, hops inside the pouch. Inside the pouch there's teats. Yep, they have a pouch, yeah. so the baby goes inside yeah. and in there she has two teats yeah. and it will choose whichever one it wants to go on to and then that one will start to produce milk yeah. and the baby's mouth actually forms like a suction around the teat so it can't fall out mm. and so you couldn't actually take it out. If you did, oh, yeah. you would actually take the lining of the mouth out and the yeah. baby would die yeah. and it needs to stay in there for about six months and finish growing. And then after that six month period, you have about two or three weeks of them going in and out, in and out, in and out, gradually staying out for longer, longer, until uh, it doesn't need to go back in, and it, but it still puts its head back in to feed. So even this one now, he's eating some leaves, but still drinking quite a bit of milk from mum and will probably be with its mum for about, an, it's been out for a month now, or just over a month, so probably about another four months it will still be with its mum.